so before we can look forward, we kind of have to look back and reflect what 2012 was. That's why Rose is here. Rose, always good to see you. Oh, thanks. Let's talk about the themes that we did see in 2012 and will they be prevalent in uh, 2013? Well, uh, natural disasters, uh, extreme weather, yes, going to continue for sure. So we're just at the start of a snowball. We're into a six-year cycle. And this is the, we're, 2013 is the third year of this six-year cycle. So we can expect more extremes like that. And it's really important to, uh, for people out there to know. Uh, the temperatures are rising, uh, sea levels are rising, food prices are going to go even higher starting in at the end of June forward so I recommend that uh, if you have the opportunity to grow a garden great idea yikes <laughs> in terms of dominant themes or maybe if there was one theme that stood out in 2012 uh, what do you think it was for for all signs across the board well I think the uncertainty of everything uh, the fact that things are changing you know reality is changing uh, you can't hold on to the uh, to the way things were so it's really important for everyone to know that you have to be a risk taker, you have to be creative, you have to be innovative, you have to look for opportunities where you might not have thought they were before, and you always have to remain uh, hopeful. Be yeah. prepared to kind yeah. of do things differently. Yeah. Well, we've got to get through all 12 signs, and we've got you for two segments today. So let's start with Aries. What do you foresee in the next year? Well, Aries is uh, on a uh, rising incline career-wise, and it's about recognition and rewards. So a lot that you've been working towards is coming to fruition. Uh, there's still pressure. There's added responsibility that comes with that. Um, but this is a, a year to be recognized, and that's both professionally and personally. So uh, there's a lot going on there. And if you you haven't had the uh, opportunity to get your message out or to be heard by a particular someone, uh, end of January forward, uh, that's going to happen. Uh, again, uh, really important uh, changes financially, uh, uh, intimate relationships as well too. Um, again, uh, make sure that you pay your taxes and you, you do your paperwork the proper way. Uh, this is the year uh, to deal with uh, debt, uh, taxes and investments. Okay, mm -hmm. going to switch on to Taurus because everyone eagerly awaiting their sign. What do you foresee okay. for Taurus? Well, Taurus is a tenacious sign and uh, and you're really being challenged. So uh, if you will stick it out, there's a reward coming. So uh, this is the time frame to really uh, force yourself uh, to, uh, to move along and uh, better for June forward, you'll get someplace. So this is really the time frame to do the work by about June forward, you're, you're getting the results. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we, we know and love our Michelle McDermott. Gemini's out there. What, oh, what's in store for the yeah. Gemini? One thing after another adventure. You know, this is an opportunity time frame. Uh, Jupiter is in your sign. And uh, again, starting from the end of January forward for all signs, if you've been held up in any way, shape, or form, end of January forward is the time frame. But this first half of the year, really great for our Gemini people. So this is a time frame to keep scouting, keep looking for your opportunities opportunities because they are there and in the second half of the year you get to uh, have more to work with what about the idea yeah. of love love, in love the, is very good yeah? Uh, yeah very good yeah second the second half of the year love is actually Taurus Leo uh, Libra Scorpio Sagittarius Pisces all of those signs and in actuality relationships in general for everyone are better in uh, 2013 so uh, again um, there's been some struggle the past two and a half years hasn't been really great for relationship or you know if you've been into something great for you but most of us have had you know hard work to do 2013 much better year okay one last sign in this segment here let's go with uh, cancer cancer you've been uh, uh, craving change uh, wanting change uh, chomping at the bit for it and it's a time frame in this first half of the year to have a little bit more patience you need to bide your time you need to see what the trends are going out there what's the feedback what are the signals that you're getting you know uh, pay attention to all of that and it is about working on a double track you need to keep going the same way while you're looking around for something else to do and again cancer really has opportunity end of June forward through the second half of the year June July you could uh, you know be in your time has come moment all right we only got a little taste here four down eight to go Rose <laughs> sit tight and okay, Joe, you're Virgo, right? 
Yes. Okay, so all you Virgos out there, this is a good day for your sign. Things will tend to go your way even though you actually don't expect too much. You're in a practical, serious frame of mind and you want some results. Start off with a to-do list. You love lists. I do love lists. Yeah? Yep. Keeping it organized. Kind of, yeah. Okay. McDermott standing by. Gemini, right? Uh -oh. uh, yep. Okay, here we go. Discussions, especially with females at home, will deal with how to get better organized and also how to secure the home in a practical way, especially in terms of financial flow, repairs, and how everyone is settling in for the new year. Ooh, that's pretty boring. Yeah. <laughs> Kinda. Yeah. Where's the I don't, juicy I don't stuff? see where the knight in shining armor yeah. riding in on the beautiful that's, Steve. That's the second half of 2013. That's right. I gotta wait another six months. Yeah. Great. Have fun in the meantime. Though. That's right. Wee! Hey guys, <laughs> we're having fun in the commute this morning. Uh, everybody back to school and work. You got a couple points for each sign here, so we'll jump to Leo. Leo, um, I, I think uh, some home life has been difficult or, you know, it's kind of that sense of dissatisfaction. Maybe you're, uh, in, in reality you're outgrowing yourself. So if you felt a sense of growing alienation or you felt stuck or so on, you're not going going to be starting at the end of January, you'll be able to find the momentum, find the creativity, uh, come up with something new for yourself. So uh, look forward to that. Again, uh, Aries month is uh, really big for you. That's April. Uh, you know, get yourself going. The eclipses are going to move you one way or another. By the time you get to the summer months, you should feel satisfied and on the on the road. Okay, Virgo? Yeah. Virgo, uh, this is a time frame of uh, career transition and uh, it's a really great time for formal learning or on-the-job training. Uh, you're on in transition right now and big change. Uh, it is a time frame, first half of the year. Second half of the year is uh, better for connectivity, for feeling greater support, for developing uh, your social life, uh, for expanding all of that and feeling like you're getting the support and getting the opportunities. So look to the second half of the year for, uh, for really very good for uh, uh, for expanding career-wise. What do you see for the Libra signs out there? Uh, Libra is, uh, again, um, uh, really doing well in this first half of the year because of Jupiter and Gemini. Really great for love, for career, uh, for adventure, for creativity, a time frame to really go for it. And it's your time frame to be more independent and, uh, and to really go for the things you want because uh, opportunity is out there. The theme that stands out for Scorpio, what would that be? Well, uh, Saturn is in the sign of Scorpio, and we're getting our first full year of that. And Saturn is something that most people know is difficult and hard. Uh, certainly, uh, it has been a transition time for Scorpios. Scorpio, uh, very tenacious sign. And this is a time frame of uh, being chiseled, uh, is what I want to say. Um, you are really doing well in this second half of the year. Uh, Christy Clark, uh, she's, uh, she's a Scorpio as well, too. Uh, Adrian Dix is a Taurus. Um, their sons are exact opposition, so they've got formidable um, opposition. Uh, you know, they're, they're good opponents to be uh, to be sparring off for one another. Uh, another. But uh, again, uh, for Scorpio, this is the time frame of a new um, a new uh, program is starting for you. A whole new life is starting for you, and this is a, a time frame for you to really make a, a name for yourself, to define yourself. It, it's really a, a new direction and that's going to start in May for you. Okay, we only have 90 seconds left and we have to oh get God. through the rest of the signs. <laughs> so uh, we're going to try and race to the final one, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, um, again, uh, you've been, um, uh, others have been really prominent in your life and, and they've been uh, kind of instrumental in where you are going to as well too. So uh, someone of influence or something of influence right in front of you, I know that that's your side. Yeah. Uh, again, uh, more more opportunity there and really good for love in the second half of the year really good for creativity and adventure and expansion and travel in the second half of the year second half so first half have fun second half we find love uh, yeah. Capricorns <laughs> Capricorns uh, again really big change for uh, for Capricorns as well too and it's something that you've been developing for quite some time so this can be a time frame of, uh, of career change but it, it, re it really is a time frame to move yourself in a new direction and uh, again feeling uh, in transition second half of the year feeling more satisfied
satisfied, feeling more settled. The transitions that you're making, uh, it is a long time coming, but you're really done. You're so done. And, uh, and the past is the past. Uh, the future is something that is way more satisfying. Final two signs uh, on the slate here. Let's uh, go with Aquarius first. Aquarius is doing exceptional. Again, this is a, an opportunity to time frame scout, look around, expand. Uh, there are more people to talk to, more things to get into. And the first half of the year is your half to go for it. Again, uh, April forward, uh, really, if you're wanting to jump into something new, this is a time frame to do it. But good opportunity in the first half of the year for anything you want. Last but not least, let's go with Pisces. Pisces going through a lot of change and the changes that you're experiencing family-wise, uh, you know, that's changing you as well too. And again, uh, great opportunity. You're, you're uh, changing the way you're showing up for yourself and changing the way you're showing up in the world. Again, um, you know, uh, really good for love and, uh, and expansion in terms of career and finances and speculative ventures in the second half of the year. Very good information. Yeah. We got a lot in there, Rose. So I know you have a, a big lecture coming up January 22nd. Uh, details there you see on screen. And we're going to do a giveaway, a couple tickets? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Very good. All right. We'll do this contest at btvancouver.ca. Just email us, put subject uh, a line, Rose Marcus. Rosemarcus.com is the website. Thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me. <laughs>